Okay, this week's drug is uh, Boldenon Undecidonate or Equipoise. Known as Equipoise because that was the trade name because this drug was invented as a veterinary drug for horses, equine, hence Equipoise. Its anabolic hundred ratio is 100 to 50, so it's quite a low androgen. Uh, same anabolic ratio as testosterone, half-life is around 15 days in vitro, and terminal, I think, is about 6.5. Detection time, you're looking at about five months. Doses, these can range massively, but generally most people will say that anything under 400 milligram a week is really ineffective most people looking at running it between six and eight hundred um females can use this uh generally looking around the 50 mic per week mark uh, porsche 100. now it's mainly known for its ability to increase red blood cells obviously red blood cells transport nutrition and oxygen around the body so it helps massively with nutritional transit the downside of that is, is your, your blood can get thick, very thick. There's a similar effect to EPO, but however, EPO just increases red blood cell, while equipoise is anabolic as well. It will boost appetite, and it actually increases calcium retention, and has been used to treat such things as osteoporosis. So, it does have other benefits. It is a very mild androgen. Side effects generally are very low. It does aromatize. It is a low conversion rate. It's about that 50% of that of estrogen, but it does aromatize. Um, however, generally most people find that there's no real um, estrogen related size when using it. Um, it, even though it's androgen is low, it can cause uh, androgenic sides. It does convert to dihydroboldenon uh, and therefore something like 5-alpha five, uh, five reductase can reduce, 5-alpha uh, reductase inhibitor, sorry, can reduce androgenic sides. But most people experience very little in the way of sides, um, especially androgenic sides, from using it. As with all steroids, it's going to affect your lipids. Um, it's not as harsh as a lot of drugs, and lipid man manipulation should be quite uh, minimal. Main thing is going to be an increase in LDL. You shouldn't see too many issues with HDL. Um, obviously, the really big issue is its effect on your RBC. Um, this can literally turn your blood to sludge. So quite often it needs to be monitored uh, from a point of view of blood values and blood letting may be needed and also keep an eye on your blood pressure. All in all though, generally regarded as a very mild drug, quite dry gains um, and generally good retention of gains. Okay, so that's equipoise, um, bold on undercyclate, silenate, sorry. Uh, and that's your drug for this week. Nice and short and sweet. Only uh, four minutes. Okay, guys, I'll catch up with you soon.